I did it. I used my Fitbit Sense to pay a credit card bill at a restaurant. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your watch as a credit card. You'll want to watch this video till the end because there are some important setup features you need to know. So let's get on with it. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we make videos to help seniors with technology. Today we're going to talk about using your smartwatch to pay as a credit card. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to be notified for future videos we make, just click the subscribe down below and that notification bell. If you do that, we'll send you a notification each time we make a video that will help you with technology. So let's get on with it and see how to use your smartwatch as a credit card. Why would you want to use your smartwatch as a credit card? I can think of three reasons right off the top. Security, security, security. Those are three excellent reasons to be using your smartwatch instead of hauling out your credit card from your wallet. Let me explain how this works. The first thing is speed. You'll just be able to tap and pay. You have to enter a pin code into your watch before using it, but then once you do that, you can just tap and pay and you're gone. You don't actually have to fumble around finding your credit card, get your phone out of your purse and open the app. When I go shopping, I'm really amazed at how people store their credit cards and secure uh, devices. The first thing is uh, I see a lot of men who just have loose credit cards in their pockets, probably because they don't have a wallet. Uh, with women, of course, they have purses. Uh, I see lots of times when I'm shopping, uh, the purse sits in the buggy and oftentimes the person is distracted. They're busy looking at uh, items they want to purchase, maybe doing a, uh, a lookup on their app on a phone to see what the best price is, and they're not keeping an eye on their purse. So this is a very dangerous situation. Again, with payment on your watch, you don't need your phone with you. It can be sitting in the car. You don't need your purse with you. You don't need any credit cards. All you need is something secure on your wrist. And it's really hip and cool. Imagine paying for your bill at a restaurant with your smartwatch. You may be the first person the waitress has seen. And you'll be a senior too. That's being cool and hip. So one of the big reasons. I usually review smartwatches for health applications. And if you want to see the videos I've made, just click the link above or it'll be in the show notes below and you can watch the videos regarding health applications on your smartwatch. I own two smartwatches. I own the Fitbit Sense and I own the Galaxy Watch 4. I usually review three watches, the Apple Watch, Fitbit Sense and Galaxy Watch 4. I'm going to talk about those watches today to be used as a credit card for purchasing items in a store. There are other watches that of course will do this, but we're going to talk about these three watches today. Using your smartwatch as a credit card is just a little bit different than using your smartphone. In this video, I'll explain the differences and give you some helpful suggestions to make the process go easier. If you have an iPhone, then you'll be using Apple Pay along with your Apple Watch. This works very well and is available in most countries with most credit cards. The setup is easy. I, of course, have a Pixel 6 phone, so I can't demonstrate this for you, but it, the setup is very simple. And out of all the devices, this is the easiest to use and most widely accepted. So you're in good hands with Apple, all right, for the non-Apple users, I want to take all the Android phones and categorize them as Samsung and non-Samsung. So if you're using a non-Samsung phone, then you most likely will be using Google Pay. The problem with Google Pay is it won't work with your Fitbit Sense and all the Fitbit line. Now you're going to say, hold on, Google owns Fitbit. Why won't Google Pay work with a Fitbit. Well, that's just the way it is. So if you want to use your Fitbit Sense, you have to use Fitbit Pay. Fitbit Pay is found 
in the Fitbit app on your phone under the Fitbit wallet. And I'll explain how to set this up in just a minute. But it's different than Google Pay and it has some limitations. First of all, there's a geographical limitation. What do I mean by that? Well, if you live in the United States, it's not a problem. It's pretty well universal and will work well for you. But if you live in Canada or other countries around the world, then you have to be careful with this. And in my case, when I went to set up Fitbit Pay, out of my five Canadian credit cards, none of them would be accepted. So I had to use my US registered American Express card and it worked. So with Fitbit Pay, you're more limited in the countries that will uh, allow you to set this up. So if you're planning to use your Fitbit for payment or thinking about purchasing a Fitbit, you'll want to check the country you're in to make sure that the credit cards you have will work with Fitbit. That is one of the reasons I'm so excited about the Pixel Watch coming out this fall. I certainly hope that the Google Pay will work with the Pixel Watch. It's got to, right? Come on, Google. So if you have a Galaxy 4 watch, then you must use Samsung Pay. Samsung Pay is very similar to Google Pay, but it doesn't work on a non-Samsung phone. So my Pixel 6 is not compatible with my Galaxy 4 watch. So if you plan on using your Galaxy 4 watch, you must have a Samsung phone and you must use Samsung Pay. So if those factors all line up, then there is no problem. The setup process is about the same. It works about the same, but you have to have all those ducks in a row to make this work. Now you start by opening the Fitbit app and you'll see that on the screen. Just choose the Fitbit app and let's open it. Now, when you open the Fitbit app, you may get a little bit confused. I want you to go down to the bottom and you'll see those big icons there and I want you to click on the today. Okay, come down here at right to the bottom on the far left, click today. Now, once you've done that, I want you to come up to the top and come right up to the top left side and you'll see an image there. It might be a bit washed out. I want you to click that. It'll be the top left image as I'm showing you in this diagram. Now that will put you into your Fitbit account. I want you to scroll down now till you see the Fitbit Sense icon and I want you to click that. Now that will bring up the Fitbit Sense app and I want you to open that and you'll see that there is an icon there that says wallet. You're going to click the wallet. That's going to direct you through a series of menus called an easy way to pay. It also will show you supported banks and credit cards. Now in order to set up Fitbit Pay on your smartwatch, you must set up a device lock for your watch. And there are two options. You can choose uh, the one I did called the recommended one or enabled, and you have to enter a pin code if you take off the device or every 24 hours. The other option is enable for Fitbit Pay only, and you enter a pin for payments. So you have your choice of A or B, and that is your choice, but this must be completed before you go on so that your watch is secure. This is the final menu you get. You simply click on the top payment debit icon and you'll enter your credit card number or debit card in there. There then will be a prompt and you will receive a text message with a pin code which you enter in to confirm the loop that you are now linked to your credit card. I'm not going to go into the details on this. It's very simple and straightforward, and it's the same as you would have done when you set this up on your phone. All right, let's see how this works. Here is my watch, and I'm going to enter the PIN code. Once the PIN code is entered, I can now access the wallet. Here is the wallet. When I click this, here is my credit card that simply has to be held close to the reader. Here's a demonstration where I use my watch, watch my wrist as it rolls over. I simply come close to the machine and of course it bleeps and 
the transaction is complete. It's that simple. Paying with your smartwatch. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Remember the notification and subscribe. We'll send you a note when we make some more videos. Until we see you again, have a great day.